And now to a rescue reunion of family thinking the first responders who saved their little boy after he nearly drowned in the backyard pool. But the rescuers say that the three year old's teenage cousin is the real hero. Local 10's Ian Margle is live in Davie with this amazing story. Ian. Today they all got to meet up here at Davie Police. The family coming to say thank you to those first responders. The first responders coming to say thank you to his cousin. I think a time. Luca Garcia Cox is rambunctious and full of energy like every three year old should be. But on July 9th, Luca nearly drowned in his family's pool. Just two minutes of, of not paying attention is all it took. Luca and his older brother Enzo. Hello. Were with their 17 year old cousin Sebastian and their parents, Ramiro and Chrissy. Ramiro was cleaning the pool when suddenly Enzo ran over and said Luca was on the bottom. Fortunately, I was close by at the other end of the pool and was able to, to jump in and pull Luca out. They called 911 and Sebastian, who spent two years of high school working as a Miami Dade Fire junior cadet, says his training kicked in and he started CPR right away. Him being my little cousin, I was like scared for his life. But like I knew like if I wasn't calm and let the emotions get to me, like I wouldn't be able to like do what I did. By the time first responders arrived minutes later, Luca was breathing again and was rushed to Joe DiMaggio in critical condition. But Luca was lucky. After just four days in the hospital, he recovered enough to go home. And now, about a month later, he got to meet some of the first responders who helped save his life. And they got a chance to give an award to Sebastian for his part in helping save his young cousin. We know the flip side to the story. We know how things can end. Um, and so for him to just be the little boy that we always knew him to be, Prior to this accident, um, it's nothing short of a miracle. Just so incredible. Lucas family says, look, they do have a pool fence. He normally wears floaties. This was just a freak accident. And it's a good reminder that we need to be vigilant when there are small children near water. As for Sebastian, he couldn't be here because he is now at college at University of Virginia. However, he says he would have done it all over again knows anybody who else was in that position would have done the same thing for their loved one. He gave a lot of credit to the Miami-Dade fire program that he did for teaching him those skills. Live in Davie, I'm Ian Morgel, Local 10 News. You know, they're all heroes and Luca is just the cutest little boy. I mean, <laughs> oh, thank goodness he's okay. Thanks, Ian.